My name is Graham Anderson. I'm a professor of T-cell biology in the MRC Centre for Immune Regulation. I, I've actually been in Birmingham a very long time. I, I came here in 1987 as an undergraduate student and I studied anatomy here in the medical school to begin with and then my career track went on towards immunology. I did a PhD in immunology here and then carried on as a, as a fellow and then a lecturer and developed a, a laboratory interested in immunology and, and thymus development. So the lab is really focused on understanding how the immune system develops and how it works. You know, we know the immune system is such an important part of a healthy body. It's the part that fights bacterial infections and viral infections. So we're interested in understanding how, when you're born, you're born with an intact immune system ready to fight off so many different invading pathogens. And so the, the research in the lab is really geared towards understanding how the immune system develops and how the different components of it actually come together to work to fight uh, infections. We've been lucky enough to have you know, consistent publications over the years and, and going back to my sort of early beginnings when, when I was doing my PhD we, we were lucky enough to publish some of those observations in Nature in 1993 and, and that was an important paper because it gave us a system, an experimental system where we could actually take the thymic tissue, the, the, the organ that we're interested in, we could take it apart and put it back together again. And so that system is still in use in the lab today to understand how various different cell components of the immune system work. What I'd like to be able to do is to continue you know, making Birmingham a, a big success in, in immunology. It's had an enormous track record of uh, success in studying the immune system in Birmingham. And you know, the way plans are going now for the future, I think it's still an exciting time to kind of keep both basic and applied research at the forefront in Birmingham. And I'm very excited about the opportunities that are developing with that. Music